Hello everybody, Luke here again. I'm gonna play another tutorial for you guys. Um, the song is from Seether and the song is called See You at the Bottom. It is off the their latest album Isolate and Medicate. It is in drop C, uh, just like Stains. Um, this song is actually incredibly easy. The only difficult part is the solo and it's really not that bad. It's mostly just power chords and stuff like that. So the first uh, chords that you're going to want to learn are, uh, of course you're going to use open, and uh, you can use D if you want, if you want a cleaner sound, um, but you're going to be open, uh, bar the first two, or first three top strings, which is on the second fret, so it sounds like this, and then you're going to do third fret and the three top strings. So you're going to learn those three, and it's going to go like this. So you're going to play open. So you're going to do open twice. And then hit those two, the two, and three, and back to two. So. Okay. Pretty easy. So. Uh, next one you're going to do is basically the same thing, but you're going to go through it three times and then you're going to land on that second uh, fret. So it goes like this. Okay. Um, when you're taking off the uh, second fret strings, you're going to want to pull down because to get that uh, the double tap or pull down or whatever you like to call it, it makes it a lot cleaner sounding. So it goes... And it's also a lot easier to uh, get your fingers back onto the strings that way. Um, so that's pretty much the intro and the verse. Uh, the verse is the same thing as that second part. So the second part where you land on the uh, second fret, that's the entire uh, verse. So uh, yeah, the chorus is going to be on the seventh fret. You're going to be barring again with the uh, top three. And then with your pinky, you're going to go down to the fourth string, which is uh, on the ninth fret. So it goes like this. That's the first chord. Second, you're going to drop it down by two. This is uh, five, 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 seven, zero, zero. So you're on the fifth fret on your index finger, barring these, the top three. And then you're going to be on seven with your pinky on the fourth string down. And then you're going to go to D, which is a pretty easy one. This is the fourth. Uh, string down on the second fret which is your index finger and then your middle finger is going to be on the fifth string on the third fret so it's going to go like this play that four times for the uh, chorus and yeah uh, next part is the solo and I will show you that in a minute all right now for the uh, solo you're gonna want to play open and you you're gonna want to hit the uh, top three strings first when you hit that because you want that low note for the solo and then you're gonna do open and then ten and you're mostly gonna want to hit the very top string but you you can hit the top three if you want, but you just want that low tone. So you're going to do 10, ghost 9, so you're, you're not going to hit 9 with your strumming hand, you're just going to hit it with your, uh, with your middle finger, and then you're going to drop down to your index finger on the 8th, and then you're going to hit that with your, uh, with your strumming hand. So it's going to go like this. Okay, and then you're gonna go down to uh, this is the fifth so it's five 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 zero 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 so you're gonna bar this one 
and then you're going to go down to uh, three, third fret, and you're going to bar that one also. So the top three, and then you're going to do that. So it's going to go like this. So it's kind of difficult when you're first learning it, so give it some time. Um, just remember to hit the open twice and then go like this. So you're not going to hit that second uh, fret in there. So once you hit the 10, you strum that, ghost note, ghost note the uh, 9, so you're not even going to hit it with your picking hand, and then you're going to hit the 8th, so it could go like this. That's the only tricky part, and then you gotta go down to your five, and then your three, which is just basic power chords. Um, he does break in the middle of that, so it's gonna go like this. And then he stops, and then he does it about four more times. And then the last one you're gonna land on is gonna be on your sixth, sixth fret, which is this. And he kind of strums that just to kind of gain uh, momentum and tempo back into the uh, chorus. So it's going to go like this. And then breaks and then goes back into the chorus. So that's the entire solo. Just uh, play it over and over again. Just remember that ghost note in the middle of a nine. And you should be able to play it once you go through it a couple more times. So yeah, give this a like, uh, subscribe, comment, do whatever you want. And uh, yeah, hope you liked it. Talk to you guys later.